Good afternoon and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mayer. Here we are on day 327 and I'm continuing the story of buried treasure. Now you might remember that the four siblings, they had started to work together to dig up a property only a foot deep to try to find the buried treasure their father said he had left on the property. Their uncle came over and checked in with them and started bringing them seeds and helping them learn to plant them, the proper depth, spacing, and then to care for them once they had grown up. And before long, weekend after weekend, they ended up, well, digging through a great amount of land and planting a lot of things. Their uncle even brought over some fruit trees, but they grew flowers and vegetables of all varieties, herbs, and the garden was beautiful. Well, they soon found themselves with so much that they couldn't use it all themselves. They began to give it to friends. And then the youngest, the youngest daughter, the youngest child, she said, you know, I have this great idea. I keep seeing a little market stand right there at the crossroads, a nice wagon, you, eldest brother, build for us. Beautiful awnings on it that this you end up sewing for us. Beautiful baskets that I make, drawn by powerful horses, trained by you, brother. We wouldn't even have to be there. We live in a great community. Uh, we could just put prices out for vegetables and bouquets of flowers and leave a little place for money and well, we could benefit a lot of people this way. The smiles on everyone's faces were broad, wide. Even uncle said he would help. He said he would come up with a logo to paint on the wagon for the family, the family farm, he said. And so they all began working together now to create this little farm wagon. And before long, there it was parked right at the crossroads. Baskets filled with fresh vegetables urns that had fresh flowers, small jar for money, and a little uh, sign that said, if you can't pay the full price, pay what you can. And if you can't pay anything, take what you need. Why well, everyone in the community loved what they were seeing. The youngest daughter, she took care of most everything uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And then everyone would come in and pitch in their help on the weekends. It wasn't long before one day when she was out there, a young man came by who took quite a fancy to her. And before long, they were betrothed. Now, days turned into weeks, which turned into months. All those children had been married, all started families of their own. And the digging when it would commence was now done by more people than there had been in the beginning. More ground got tilled, more things got planted. And that family of four, well, they became <laughs> pretty hard working farmers. They couldn't believe it. 
and they were doing the work that they had vowed they would not do. They'd actually talked about all this when they were younger, how they were not going to follow in their father's footsteps. But here they were. Here they were. Working. Working away. Making the land produce such an abundance of food and beauty. It was work that they felt deep within them. It was satisfying, fulfilling. It was something that it was inherent in their own physiologies, as it's probably true of all of us. We've all tended the land. We've all been stewards of the land. Our ancestors all planted things. All, all of them harvested food from the land long before there were grocery stores. And so this innate wisdom that was deeply within them had a chance to flourish and grow. And with it came a joy, a joy of working together. It was remarkable. Some days they would all be out there on a weekend or often now they would come out to work together on weekends. I mean, on weekdays in the afternoon. And they weren't always digging to find the treasure. They were taking care of what they had already dug up, what they had already planted, harvesting, weeding, growing some of those plants in order to make a new seed crop as their uncle had shown them and instructed them. It was remarkable. They would all be out there working and talking as they worked. And sometimes they would get into these really passionate conversations, talking about things. And all of them would be down working as they were talking. And suddenly somebody would say something. Everyone would stand up and they'd all be talking. No one would be working because the conversation had engaged them so completely. And then one of them would go back down to whatever it was that they were doing. And pretty soon everyone was back working. As the birds were singing, the wind was blowing, clouds blowing by, the beauty surrounding them and the symphony of nature adding delightful music to their ears. Well, we'll leave the story there. Communion. Nurturing the land, nurturing each other, stewarding the land, stewarding each other, stewarding themselves. We'll leave them there. Imagine them in those fields surrounded by healthy, beautiful plants of their own design. All right, thanks for joining. It's Thanksgiving Day today. Hope you've had a thankful day. And thank you for joining.